Hello, my dear students. It's time to learn English. Please open your books on page 105. We are going to work with vocabulary, topic vocabulary, word patterns, and collocations. Let's start with words connected with health. Slova povyazany is zdorovyam, family zdorovya. If you have a book, Please work in your books. If you don't have a book, open your exercise books, notebooks, and please write there. Because at the end of our lesson, your task will be to take a picture of your notes and attach to classroom. The first exercise is to choose the correct names for different parts of the body. Use the words in the box. Let's look at these words. Ankle, щиколотка. Arm, рука. Це від плеча до ліктя називається arm англійською. Back, спина. Ear, вухо. Face, обличчя. Finger, палець. Foot, стопа. Hand, Частина від ліктя уже нижче. Рука, ні, коліно. Look at this word. We write K, but we don't read it. Not K, but ні. Leg, нога. Neck, шия. Nose, ніс. Stomach, живіт або ж шлунок. Look at this word. Not stomach, but stomach. К. And throat. Горло. Throat. Горло. I give you some time to look at this picture and label the parts of the body. And then we'll check. Start giving, please. And then we'll check. Unit 10. Topic Vocabulary. Page 105. Exercise 1. Words connected with health. 1. Eye. 2. Ear. 3. Nose. 4. Face. 5. Throat. Six. Neck. Seven. Back. Eight. Stomach. Nine. Arm. Ten. Finger. Eleven. Leg. Twelve. Hand. Thirteen. Knee. Fourteen. Ankle. Fifteen. Foot. One more time. Number one. Eye. Two. Ear. Three. Nose. Four. Face. Five. Throat. Uh, it's easy to mix number five and six, but our book wants to write throat to number five and neck to number six. Seven. Back. Eight. Stomach. Nine. Arm. Ten. Finger. Eleven. Leg. Twelve. Hand. Thirteen. Knee. Remember knee. Fourteen. Ankle. 15. Food. The next exercise is about 
uh, the sentences with the usage of the words connected with health. You can underline, circle, or highlight the correct answers. Choose the correct word to phrase or phrase to complete each sentence. Number one. Той, хто працює в зошитах, нагадує, речення не переписує повністю, а записує номер вправи, речення and just the answer. If I eat quickly, I usually get neck or stomach ache. Stomach ache, білю шлунку. Look at this word, ache, ache. Number two, Sara has hurt her ankle or eye and now she can't walk. Ankle. Three, I hurt my face of food when I kicked the ball during the football match. Food. Alex can talk because he has a problem with his finger or throat. Throat. Five, my mom has hurt her neck or nose and she can't move her head very well. Neck. If you can't read the board, maybe you should get your eye, ears, or eyes checked. Eyes checked. I've run 10 kilometers and now my fingers or knees hurt. Knees. Arthur threw the ball so hard that it hurts Dan's foot or hand when he caught it. Hand. Number one, stomach. Two, ankle. Three. Food, four, throat, throat, horvo, five, neck, neck, shia, six, eyes, seven, knees, knees, colina, eight, hand. Exercise three. We are going to make words and prepositions and make collocations. Our task is to complete the sentences, choose the best word for each gap. Gap – пропуск. Доповни речення, обери найкраще слово для кожного пропуска. Prepositions – це прийменники. I had a bad pain with for in my food this morning. In – Ashley has a problem for with to his stomach so he can't eat bread. With. This is a hospital with for two children and babies. Or. Sitting down all day can be a danger too in with your house. Two. I'd like an appointment. Zappas. For with to the doctor, please. With appointment with the doctor. Запис до лікаря. Have you got any medicine with in for a bad cold? For. What's the matter with in for you? With. I hope to do a course of in at nursing. In. Number one. In. Two. With. Three. Four. Four. Two. Five with six, four, seven with eight in. In exercise three, we made expressions with prepositions, but in exercise four, nouns plus verbs. We have got verbs take, make, break, brush, catch, feel, and nouns. Uh, your leg, feel better, a cold, an appointment, your temperature, your teeth. Take your temperature, вимірювати температуру. Make an appointment, записатися до лікаря. Break your leg, зламати ногу. Brush. Your teeth, чистити зуби, catch, a cold, застудитися, feel, feel or better. And now in exercise 5, our task is to use our expressions 
and complete the sentences. But be careful with grandma. I from one of my friends at school and had to stay in bed for two days. Yes, it is uh, catch a cold, but had to stay means the past action. So caught a cold. Look at this word, caught a cold, a u caught. Jim couldn't walk for eight weeks after he during a skiing holiday last year. Skiing last year, so past simple, broke his leg. Can you use to see the doctor yet? Yes, make an appointment, but in present perfect, made an appointment. Your head feels very warm. I think I need to see if you are ill. Take a temperature. It's important to every morning and evening so they are clean and healthy. I do well, brush your teeth. And six, if you at school, you should tell the school nurse, nurse, medicinal sestra. And the last one is feel ill. Number one, caught a cold. Two, broke his leg. Three, made an appointment. Uh, four, take your temperature. Five, brush your teeth. Six, feel ill. Let's sum it up. On page 105, we worked with vocabulary connected with health. And also we... Uh, worked with the exercise three with words and prepositions, pre-manity, and made collocations with verbs. Now, please, I ask you to take a picture of page 105 and attach to classroom. Thank you for your waiting. The lesson is over. Goodbye.